This report looks at greenhouse gas emissions from the livestock sector. It looks at different production systems, livestock products, different regions across the world, and it comes up with a global estimate for greenhouse gas emissions from the livestock sector, but it also estimates the scope for reduction. We have a number of very concrete suggestions to make. We looked at the emission gap in, in emission intensities. So the emission intensity describes how much, in terms of greenhouse gases, is emitted from the production of livestock products. And it expresses that on a per unit basis. So um, what we saw is that in, in a number of situations, the scope for reduction is rather significant. And that is by just comparing um, the individual performance of a farmer to that of a well-performing farmer just in the same area. So it is a within-system comparison that shows that between 30 and 40 percent of reduction can be achieved by just moving to better practices. Well, it is important to reduce emissions because the livestock sector is still growing very rapidly, particularly in developing countries, countries that move to richer diets. So we have a, a large expansion of demand for livestock products, while at the same time already the livestock sector uses a lot of resources and is a significant source of emissions. Well, farmers' role is to, first of all, to provide these global assessments because there's no other institution that does that. FAO's role is also to start a policy dialogue about what can be done concretely to reduce environmental impact and to, to improve on the greenhouse gas emission profiles of livestock production systems. And then it is to provide concrete guidance in terms of what are the policies and what are the technologies that have the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and other forms of environmental impact. Well, we're having two initiatives in place that take this work forward. One is we have the Global Agenda of Action for Sustainable Livestock that provides a policy dialogue for multiple stakeholders, for the civil society, private companies, governments, academia and the like, to come together and to form a consensus on these issues and to indicate what could be done to improve it. We also have an initiative that deals with the benchmarking of environmental impacts where methods are being developed and harmonized to measure environmental impact and to take these benchmarks